These are the top 10 best stretches for your wrist or thumb if you're experiencing pain because of playing video games with a controller or a mouse and keyboard. Now these first few stretches are for your wrist and they're gonna target the outer area of your wrist. Number one, we have the prayer position stretch. It is a fairly simple and effective stretch. What you're gonna do is push your palms together with your fingertips pointing upwards and your elbows pointing out. You should feel it on the outside of your wrist. Make sure you hold this stretch and all the other ones in this video for at least 30 seconds. Me personally, I started feeling pain, I would say around a year ago, but once I implemented a few of these stretches, not even all of them, into my gaming routine, if that's what you wanna call it, before and after I started playing, I started to feel a bit of a difference in the next couple of weeks, if I'm being honest. Number two, the reversal prayer position is just the opposite of the first stretch, and it consists of pressing the backs of your hands and fingers together with your fingers pointed downwards and your elbows are going to steadily raise and your hands are going to slowly descend and you should feel this stretch in the top of your wrists kind of on the 90 degree point where they're turning and so that one is pretty good number three is where things start to get a little funky we got the supine flexor stretch and you're going to start with your elbow and your palm facing upward and with your other hand you're going to pull your wrist downward it's going to stretch the upside of your forearm and it, it might not feel the best at first but keep at it it'll feel a little bit better as you keep going make sure you're performing all of these stretches on both hands so long term one doesn't become more healthy or less healthy than the other you wouldn't want that number four is the pronated extensor stretch and it might be a bit of an obvious one but it is still neglected by a lot of gamers out there and so you're gonna start with your elbow and your palm facing downward and you're simply going to pull your wrist down and your overall hand is going to be facing you and you should feel a mild discomfort but once again you should not feel any real pain here this last one is one that helped me the most I would say what you do is you grab whatever wrist you're going to be stretching with the opposite hand, pull back on the skin, and once you're pulling back on the skin, you're then going to rotate your wrist in both directions. You should feel some kind of strain or pressure while you're rotating your wrists. That's how you're going to know you're doing it right. Do that for five to ten seconds on each wrist and with all these stretches if your wrist is still in pain afterwards i would then say go see a doctor or a physician of some sort but i'm not a doctor so don't you know just listen to me and think what i say is going to be end all be all these are just some stretches to help you guys relieve some pain if you're experiencing that or you're starting to or you just want to prevent it which is you know what you should be doing trying to prevent these things before they even get the chance to happen and so next we have the thumb stretches like i said these next few stretches are going to target your thumb muscles and pretty much just the areas around your thumb. We know controller players use their thumbs for the whole damn time they're playing. And Xbox, I'm, not, I'm sorry, uh, PC and keyboard, what? Keyboard and mouse players, yeah, their, their thumb is not used as much. It's used a lot for sure, but I, I don't know if it's, a, it's as active as a controller player's thumb. But these stretches can help prevent gamer's thumb, which we'll talk about a bit at the end. But number five, or we have the easiest one, and it is the adductor stretch. You're simply going to open your hand gently and pull your thumb downward and back while your palm is not facing you. And you're gonna keep your elbow straight. All your other fingers should be pointed upward. This one is, like I said, fairly well known one and it will though still provide a lot of good results and just overall give you a good stretch number six we got the thumb extensor stretch now if you don't do this one a lot um i will say myself i am experiencing some pain right here the thumb extensor stretch it will do wonders though for those feeling pain near the base of your thumb like myself you're gonna perform it by bending your thumb to the inside of your palm so basically trying to touch your pinky and then wrapping the rest of your fingers around your thumb and then you're going to gently squeeze your thumb while at the same time flexing your wrist downward so away from you basically and you should feel it on the thumb side of your forearm basically at the base of your thumb if that's where the pain is you're definitely going to feel it there if there's no if there's no pain there you might feel it somewhere else or just a, a bit more spread out that is the thumb extensor stretch like i said that one will be a bit more painful if you guys have thumb pain so be careful with that one next we got the joint distraction 
and wrist distraction. These two are very similar. They're basically just popping your knuckles, but it's not that, it's just pulling them. So it's verbatim a quick separation of the joints. Um, with your hand relaxed in front of you and with the other hand, grip the finger you want to pop and pull it until you feel some separation of the joint. Repeat with all the fingers on both hands if you feel like it or whatever hand is bothering you. Same thing goes for the wrist. You're going to put it in front of you, relaxed, and grab your entire hand, and at the base of it, you're going to start pulling, and you should feel some sort of a separation in there that will, you know, hopefully relieve some pain or tension overall. That's it for the thumb stretches and wrist stretches, guys. Now, some of you may know what Tino, I can't even fucking say it, I'm not gonna be honest, or I'm gonna be honest, I can't even say it, but I'll try, it's called Tino Sivanotis. Tino Sinovitis. Tino Sinovitis, otherwise known as Gamer Thumb, and it's inflammation of the lining of the sheath that surrounds a tendon. In layman's terms, it is inflammation of a muscle around your tendon, and it's important we keep our hands and the rest of our body, obviously, in shape, and in the best shape possible, might I add, because health is wealth, and I truly believe that. Make sure you guys subscribe for more gamer tips, gamer health tips to be specific, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.